College ice hockey was without a doubt the most common request in the comments, so I finally got around to it. Starting with the Big Ten, which is ironically one of the smaller conferences in terms of the amount of teams that it has. Anyway, let's check out the Big Ten arenas. Yost Ice Arena, Michigan Wolverines. We've started off with a bang. Michigan fans like to call this place the Cathedral of College Hockey, which is a fitting name I suppose because not only does this 100 year old venue have a very grandiose exterior, as cathedrals do, but it too is approved by Jesus. Just stunning, I don't blame him to be honest. You'd think the interior would pale in comparison, but actually it's just as impressive. And perhaps even more cathedral-like. There's arched windows galore. And what well-respected cathedral doesn't have one of these big boys to watch slow-mo replays? Mun Ice Arena, Michigan State Spartans. From grandiose to inconspicuous, Michigan State have already conceded to their Michigan counterparts when it comes to the exterior. It's almost like they're trying to hide it. But I suppose the interior is more important, and this one doesn't let us down. It's nice and compact as you might expect, given how unimposing the exterior was, and overall it's pretty modern. There's a significant amount of bench seating throughout, However, there used to be a lot more, it used to make up the majority. 3M Arena at Mariucci I'm usually not a fan of when they name a sports venue so-and-so arena at so-and-so, but in this case it's named after two legends, John Mariucci, former Gophers coach, and of course 3M, a lesser known Detroit rapper, full name Marshall Michael Mathers. 3M. The simple brick exterior is matched by a simple single tiered interior. With a small upper deck of premium seats on two sides. But rather than dull, I'd say it's looking pretty clean. It's a bit of a shame that there are only two M's on the seats though. That's a little bit disrespectful to 3M. Yes, M&M is more successful, but come on. Compton Family Ice Arena. Notre Dame Fighting Irish. This is another newer venue that's gone for an old school aesthetic. It's not quite on the same level as Notre Dame in France, but it's along the same lines. The interior is equally elegant. I'm loving the combination of those navy blue seats and the stone blocks throughout, which combine to form Notre Dame colors more or less. They've also added just the right amount of Irishness. It is the smallest arena in the conference, but it doesn't really matter. Due to the compact nature of the seating layout, you know the atmosphere is going to be pretty good. Value City Arena, Ohio State Buckeyes. Although the Nut House, as it's known, has the largest capacity and probably the most imposing exterior, it's simultaneously grand and bland. I mean, compared to its competition at least. The ceiling is so high that it must diminish the atmosphere a little bit, and yeah, it does have a bit of a generic look to it overall, as is often the case with arenas that are getting close to the 20k mark. I'm sure the amenities are fine, but just comparing it to some of the other venues we've seen, it's a tad boring. As I mentioned though, it's the biggest, so they can brag about that. Pegula Ice Arena, Penn State Nittany Lions. Although it looks decent, I love the amount of glass used, it does also look like it could be a library or something from the outside. That's not necessarily a bad thing. The interior is quite similar to Notre Dame, just with more grey building materials used, so it has more of a cold, clean look to it. It too has a standing room section at one end, this one being especially steep. Oh yeah, this arena was funded by the largest donation in the school's history, 88 million dollars. It was much needed as well because the school was planning to move up to Division 1 whilst playing out of an arena that could hold little more than a thousand spectators. This is certainly an upgrade. Coal Center, Wisconsin Badgers. We've already had the Nut House and now this one is known as the Mad House in Madison. I wonder if we'll ever see a nickname that doesn't beat around the bush and is just... 
It's a full house tonight at the Delaware State Hospital for the criminally insane in Dover. Although it is a large venue, it seems a lot more intimate than Value City Arena. The evenly portioned, triple tiered layout puts spectators right on top of everything whilst looking good in the process. So, there you have it. Hmm. It's tough to pick a favourite, but I'd probably have to go with the Compton Family Ice Arena. It was small, but it did have a bit of everything that I look for. Thanks for watching, have a good one.